Good morning, good morning, happy Friday everyone. Hope everyone had a great week. Hope everyone, you know, accomplished a few goals, all that, all right? Um, making a little video, I'm on, I'm on a drive right now, handling some errands and whatnot. Making a little video to pretty much um, give you guys some tips on how to build a, a strong empire. I'm saying as far as Forever Profit, for example, is an empire. Why? Because we have people that pretty much started something, and we have people that we're, we're um, helping, and we have people that we're putting on to to be a part of our empire also. You know what I'm saying? So all these things, how it's structured, how, how, how everything is pretty much put together, the people that you um, hang with, the people that you are in business with, all these people matter. You know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna give you guys some tips on, you know, how to build a strong empire. Because I know a lot of people, you know, you know, they look up to FIP based on, you know, where we came from, knowing that we all have our own story, knowing that there's um, a lot of growth to actually do within the brand as well, and it's gonna keep on growing. But also, um, that other people want is slowly trying to create their own brand as well. You know what I'm saying? Remember, FIP is more than just a brand; it's a lifestyle at the end of the day and the fact that it's more than just a brand it says a lot you know because we're not just branding clothes or branding this branding that not nah, like we are living the fip life you know what i'm saying um my phone is kind of shaking right now because it's on a, a little stand thing but it's it's more than just a brand mainly because of this when you guys hear the name forever in profit right it's forever in profit meaning we are forever in profit. You know what I'm saying? Like it's the name has just has a lot more meaning than just the brand. You know what I'm saying? Like it's literally like how we live based on what we do. You know what I'm saying? Things that that we do is causing us to be forever in profit. You know? So at the same time, the name that that you choose for your brand is very important because at the same time it has to relate to everything. If you create a a brand based around your name it's not gonna work out you know what i'm saying it's not gonna work out if if let's say for example like your your name is uh is chris chris johnson all right and then you create a brand called um the chris johnson group no one's gonna want to fucking represent chris johnson you know what i'm saying because it has a name attached to it you know what i'm saying so like first off you have to have a name that pretty much everyone can represent and understand where it comes from so it's not just based on one person you know what i'm saying forever profit has no name attached to me attached to ryan attached to emil attached to drew it's not attached to anybody but at the same time it's its own entity you know what i'm saying which is great for longevity and whatnot right it's good and at the same time it's like that because all of our all of our students and all of our um our brands like they could pretty much rep the brand you know what i'm saying at the same time like fip is is more than just you know the brand itself like a person can actually at the next line turn right yeah a person can actually rep that by how however they want to rep it you know what i'm saying that's why like i love when people actually get to a certain point in their trading journey and they get the tattoo you know what i'm saying i've been got my tattoo as you can see the red fip bull I got that tattoo when um, I hit like a major milestone, you know what I'm saying, financially, like a couple years ago. And um, that made made me feel right to get it at that point, at you know line, what I'm saying? Use the right lane so, to merge onto Florida's Turnpike South. So everyone has their own reason as to why they, they get the FIP bull, but at the same time, even just getting the FIP bull says a fucking lot, you know what I'm saying? It says that you understand um, what the brand is about, you understand, you know, what the brand can, can offer you. you you understand the kind of value that you can get out of the brand all of these things you're understanding as to why you're getting to fip bull you know what i'm saying so that's like one thing name and uh name image all that shit matters like when it comes to creating a brand because you can't create a brand just for yourself based on your name and that kind of dumb shit personally when people create their their brands based off their names that's the most dumbest shit that you can fucking do personally um and mind you this is my own opinion based off of experience based off of time based off of all these things you know what i'm saying based around based around being 
in the niche for what um six seven years and seeing groups come seeing groups go seeing groups come seeing groups grow, go seeing seeing groups become relevant seeing groups become irrelevant as fuck you know what i'm saying seeing all these things but one brand that never ever fell off was forever and profit why because we we have a way on how we actually run our brand we have a way that we pretty much have um it's you know we think about ethics and all that other shit you know what i'm saying the morals behind the group everything all all that stuff matters so we don't misrepresent our brand in any kind of way so it could actually look bad you know what i'm saying we have a lot of value that we actually bring to the community we have a lot of value that that, that we bring to ourselves so we want to represent the brand as if you know it, it's everything to you you know what i'm saying the next thing people that people that you're within your brand like people that's within your brand as far as a part of business and that, and that kind of shit you have to be around people that pretty much have their own goals in mind you know what i'm saying people want to be a part of people want to be a part of the fip brand but that's not how it works you can't just sign up and then all of a sudden no everyone that is a part of fip brand um the brand brand like as far as like the the, the core of it drew emil those are the only other two people you know what i'm saying as far as that that we had added on me and Ryan are the founders. Drew and Emil are the people that we pretty much added on to the brand because they have, for one, they had their own thing going on. They had, you know, they, all right. Emil and Drew are two of my top students from like my body classes and whatnot when, when I used to have them. From there, I seen their potential. From there, they pretty much started doing their own thing and I, I seen it and then after that, we, um, I felt like they were like a good fit. Why? Their, their values were there. You know what I'm saying? What they represent was there. Similar things to like what I represent. Emil, same concept. We have a similar background. We're, we're immigrants. You know what I'm saying? We're, we're, we're immigrants that pretty much made it in the States and made something out of ourselves. You know what I'm saying? That's literally like me and Emil's story. Like same concept. We came from a whole different country. And after that, we came to the states and made something out of ourselves you know what i'm saying drew saying um similar concept you know what i'm saying at the same time like he was, he was working at a, at a job that he hated but he was very very good at it but at the same time he's seen an opportunity to pretty much get out of it and he, he found value in something else and pretty much went full-fledged he never ever fell off there was times that you know he he left the job tried to go his entrepreneurship route and then went back to the job and then left the job again, you know what I'm saying? Until the time was actually right, which is perfectly fine. So it's like everybody has their own story behind as to why they they are where, where they are. But they all brought their own value to the brand, which means that they don't have to depend on every little thing that I fucking do. You know what I'm saying? So it's kind of like a record label. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, like you could, you know, go ahead and do your own thing. But, but when you're working with a brand that can um let's say shape you into that person that you want to become that's where it becomes powerful you know what i'm saying we got the same time i've been through it all you know what i'm saying i name it remember a lot of new people inside a niche but there's not a lot a lot of people inside a niche that was in the niche in 2014 20, 2015 you know what i'm saying a lot of those people fell off but from all those years you're seeing people come you're seeing people go you're seeing people see people come here see people go we make sure that everybody in our brand is, is taken care of that we're all doing the right thing to to, to, to get to where they want to be to see success to see growth in whatever they want to accomplish you know what i'm saying drew just got his lamborghini yours emil has a bunch of shit going on like right now that man is fucking crazy um but they're all reaching these goals that they aspire to reach you know what i'm saying so these are, are, are some things like a mentor like me like I'm, I'm a mentor to, to all my students yes but at the same time i'm also a mentor to the core people that i pretty much you know i'm, I'm shaping to be a part of the brand as well i mean then drew so like i gotta make sure that yo listen like certain things are done a certain kind of way um so you guys can actually see the best the best results based off of my experience and and everything you know what i'm saying so people that you bring onto your brand have to have some sort of fucking value they have to 
represent your brand as if you represent your brand everything you know what i'm saying from there after that i, I would say um add fucking value you know what i'm saying people's as long as you're adding value that then people's gonna know you know what i'm saying people's gonna actually hear about you and that kind of stuff remember like i've been doing like my shit since yeah november 2014 i've been on my shit ever since um i've hit most of my my trading financial goals you know what i'm saying like my 10k days 20k days i had back-to-back -back quarter million dollar days back um, last year um the million dollars in a week you know what i'm saying like i've I, I, I've hit all of my goals as to why um, whenever I see people, you know, that's hitting their goals, perfectly fucking fine. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's what it is. But eventually, you'll come to a point that, that you're hitting all these goals and and you have to just kind of understand that, like, there's always going to be a next level. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, you don't have to fucking crave that next level to the point that you hurt yourself. You know what I'm saying? If you have all these goals that, that you're knocking out, don't try to watch the next man based off of what he has going on and then fuck over yourself, you know what I'm saying? Stay inside your lane and knock out your goals based off of what you have set in mind for yourself, you know what I'm saying? What, what, uh, when you're going off of somebody else's goals, that's when you could just easily sidetrack and all of a sudden you're on like a losing streak or lose some money le left and right or, or some dumb shit, you know what I'm saying? That's definitely, not the route to fucking go. So I tell people all the time, like, yo, focus on yourself, focus on what you have going on. But at the same time, remember, like, there's billions of people inside of, inside of fucking world. You know what I'm saying? If you're watching what everybody else is doing, you're not gonna really get anywhere in life. Okay. Um. Next thing, like, like when it comes to building a brand, probably the last thing. Um. There's always gonna be people that's in competition with you. It, indirectly like like there's a bunch of people in competition with FIP but at the same time like we're not about competition you know what I'm saying we're about just ourselves and what we have go, going on and bringing value to our following and like you know what our community needs and that kind of stuff you know what I'm saying so when it comes to building a brand don't watch what all the people have going on you know what I'm saying there's always going to be people that's trying to compete with you or put you in a category this is a big one People is always gonna try to put you in a category to want you to compete with them so they can feel as if you're on their level. You know what I'm saying? That that's a huge one right there, you know what I'm saying? So you're gonna always if you're always a, a topic in a discussion, then you're doing the right thing. You know what I'm saying? Which is a very, very common thing like like when it comes to the niche. So at the same time, you know, don't make that stray you off from being great or or doing something that you have in mind that that, that you want to do but at the same time there's always going to be people that's going to be talking there's always going to be people that's going to be indirectly in competition with you um but you don't have to look, compete if you know where you are it's kind of like that that picture with the cheetah in the in the um the um race thing like it's like a dog race the dogs are going and the cheetah's there because he doesn't have to prove himself you know what i'm saying the cheetah can easily just get up and just you know what i'm saying but for what it's like a waste of energy so it's kind of like know what to spend your energy on because at the same time people's gonna want to always you pe are people's gonna always want you to use your energy based off of what they want you to use it for but know what to use your energy on because that shows that you have you know fucking common sense that i know that people not everyone's gonna be on your fucking level for one so people's gonna always want you to prove yourself when it's already been proven a thousand fucking times you know what i'm saying so understand where you are in your journey understand the kind of value that you bring to yourself and to bring and you bring to your community and pretty much stick to it once you go outside of that you're literally saying that you're on that person level like if if the cheetah even stood up if the cheetah even stood up that kind of said that the cheetah probably had some competition but in reality the cheetah just sat down lay down and watch the entire race because easily it, it could beat everybody you know what i'm saying so that's you know that's how much confidence you got to have in what you have going on based off of your accomplishments based off of achieving all, all your goals all that shit so this video is literally for people that's trying to build a brand you know get to, get to a point that they're fucking relevant in the community in the niche you know what i'm saying a lot of people want to become relevant inside the forex niche inside the trading niche 
but at the same time, it's not gonna happen based off of just who they are and how they actually act as a person and shit. You know what I'm